Hey, hi, hello, yellow. Welcome back. About a year ago, I made a video pretty similar to this, talking about my favorite indie games coming out in 2023. And I figured it would be a fun little tradition to keep this up every year. You know, talk about new indie games. And you know how I'm gonna differentiate it from last year? I'm gonna talk about the games that I talked about last year to see if they measured up, you know? See how they lived up. So first I talked about Pizza Tower, and uh, considering that I made two videos on this subject, I don't think you need me to go in depth on it, but uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Hollow Knight Silk Song didn't come out this year. The Plucky Squire didn't come out this year. Another Crab's Treasure didn't come out this year. Wow. Oh, and Planet of Lana. This one did come out this year, and I didn't play it. I, I don't know why. It was on sale kind of often, but I just didn't. But anyway, let's stop the dilly-dallying. Let's get into the main event. What are some of my favorite games for 2024? I love Wario. I can't help it, I've always loved this greedy scoundrel. The Wario Land games are unbridled, creative, fun games. And I love them. Unfortunately, the most recent one to come out was Wario Land Shake It on the Wii in 2008. Nintendo has decided to stop with Wario Land and focus more on WarioWare. But if Nintendo won't make Wario Land games, I guess we will. Enter Anton Blast. I am so upset that I didn't know about this game sooner. This game has been in the works for an extremely long time even having a prequel called Anton Ball, which, you know, took aspects of Wario Land, like the shoulder bash, but it put it into a more Atari Breakout style of gameplay. Eh, I thought it was fun, but eh, you know. But Anton Blast, oh, Anton Blast. I mean, look at the way it looks. There's so much depth to the levels, even though it's just 2D, you know? And Anton is super expressive the whole time. This game looks like it's gonna be amazing to watch other people play. But it is a Wario Land styled game, so it's also going to be pretty fun to play. My evidence? I played the demo from 2023. It's so good! I'm sorry, I'm going to totally nerd out for just a sec. They combined the speed of Sonic the Hedgehog, some great looking graphics, the cartoony spinning of Crash Bandicoot, all with a kick uh, a butt soundtrack coming out sometime 2024. I am so excited for Anton Blast. Alright, I parodied my last video, but let's do it again. I. Love. Punch-Out. I can't help it. I love this series. The Punch-Out series is full of great action and fast reflexes, but it also tests your mind and makes sure you know how to recognize patterns fast. Unfortunately, the last game in the series to come out was on the Wii in 2008, and Nintendo has decided to stop focusing on Punch-Out and focus more on Super Smash Bros. But I guess if Nintendo won't make another Punch-Out, I guess we will. Enter Big Boy Boxing. I've seen a few people talk about this game before. Some people describe it as Punch-Out and Cuphead's birth baby, which is weird and I don't like that mental image. However, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. It's Punch-Out because you're a boxer, fighting another boxer in a boxing ring. You punch them and they go down. But it's Cuphead because A, it's pretty difficult. Not that original Punch-Out isn't difficult, but you know, Punch-Out. It, 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 Cuphead was like memed on for how hard it was. It was like Cuphead Dark Souls. Like you couldn't get away from them without hearing, oh, it's so hard. So it's that. And also you can only take three hits before going down. Easy. And I really love the look of this game. It is, can you tell that I have a thing with cartoony looking video games? Every hit looks satisfying. All the windups are really funny to watch. It's so fun. There's a demo out there right now. I don't know if I'm gonna link it in the description because I think I might have gotten it off of a pretty sus website, so you might not get the same demo that I'm playing, but there is one on Steam. There is a demo on Steam. You can play it there. It just will include five less fights 
But with that said, dude, oh, it's so cool. It's got the same charm that Punch-Out has with every boxer being so completely unique but it puts its own spin on it. Like, the Titanic 5000 is my personal favorite boxer so far. If you look at him, you can just say, oh, it's uh, it's another King Hippo, it's another Bear Hugger, you know. It's another fat guy that can go down because he's fat, you know. <laughs> but if you look at his animations, you can see that he's barely actually trying to hit you and it's more so just flopping around and the sheer force of his gravity that makes his fists hurt. And hey, if you're looking at this game and thinking, oh, okay, so just hit them and they're down, right? Yes, but there are also challenges to complete. Can you survive against two straight minutes of onslaught? Can you beat him in only uppercuts? Nowhere near mandatory, but they're fun challenges for you to go back to and try. I'm super excited for big boy boxing. Last video, I talked about a studio called Devolver Digital. It's a publishing company that takes indie games that they think have some promise and gives them a little bit of budget and sends them out under their umbrella. It's literally a win-win. While I'm not as glowing of a reviewer as I am with Devolver Digital, Humble Games is also one of these studios. You might recognize some of their games. They've made Forager and they've made Signalis, both video games that I'm actually pretty fond of. There's a video game coming out soon under their umbrella titled Bo, Path of the Teal Lotus. This was developed by Squid Shock Studios, featuring beautiful hand-drawn animation. I mean, jeez, look at that. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. It looks beautiful. The soundtrack is amazing, featuring plenty of Japanese instruments. And it also looks like it's going to be really satisfying to play. Everything looks like it flows into each other smoothly. The gameplay is fast-paced. And with all of that said, it looks a little bit like Hollow Knight Silk Song gameplay, which is not out yet. I know, I know. Hollow Knight Silk Song isn't out yet, and I should stay patient, and I am gonna. But this looks like it could perfectly scratch that itch, while also giving itself a unique identity, rooting itself in Japanese folk culture. I mean, oh, I'm watching the trailer right now, and there's a Nine Tails? Are you kidding me? Not the Pokemon, the actual thing. It looks like it's gonna perfectly balance serene moments with fast action. And I'm so excited for Bo Path of the Teal Lotus. Uh, there was gonna be more, there was gonna be more videos, more, uh, indie games, but I went through a bunch of personal stuff and I kind of procrastinated on this video for all of January, so, oops! That's why the audio quality is so bad and all over the place, I kind of just rushed. I'll see you next time, bye guys!